Uh, first of all, I'd like to give God honor and thank God for the power of prophecy. Um, we really don't know where to begin. It's mm -hmm. just so much is going on. Mm -hmm. And Bishop, you sent me a letter back in October, I believe it was October letter. Okay. And for many years, I had spoke to my wife that I wanted to get more involved in the community, my local community in Plainfield. I want to get more politically active. And <laughs> it's funny, in the letter, you actually said that, that I will be <laughs> in that season. Whoa. I'll be getting more involved in the community and politically active. And that was just something that was just a thought in your mind that you just... That was a thought for many years because I, you know, I just wanted to do that but never really actually carried it out. Right, I never heard you voice it. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, can't get into the circumstances, the detail of how this happened, but it was only God that I was able to one day just meet a lady at a place that I really wasn't supposed to be at. Turns out she was the, making a transition from the president of the Plainwood Square Association, which is a conglomeration of businesses that network top businesses in Plainfield. Mm. She was going from the president of that to the president of the Chamber of Commerce. Met her at an outing. She invited me to one of the meetings. And effectively, and someone kind of said this to me. They said, you know, what you have done in a couple of weeks here, people have been trying to do for 10 years. Hmm. And from meeting her, I met a whole circle, a network of people who, who are empowered in Plainfield. Wow. Yeah, so I'm in a political circle now that have taken people 10 years to build up a network, and I've done it in two weeks. Wow. And that's the power of prophecy. Amen, amen. So, um, so you began to see that word confirming itself and just unfolding in a two weeks period of time, like it likes mushroom. And mushroom that same season. Amen. And so I uh, just want a couple other things here. Uh, one of the prophets here, Prophet Webster, prophesied that he heard my voice over the airwaves. Mm -hmm. I had no desire to get into radio. Do networking and putting some together for a person that hosted a program. It's called Bridge Builders. Got a couple of people on her show. She invited me on the show and asked me to co-host the show. Wow. So it's every Thursday. It's uh, Harvest Radio. It's in a, a local station in Plainfield. And she asked me to co-host the show. She said, why don't you come on? You know, you're getting me these people. You just mind wants to come on and help me host the show. Wow. And that's the power of prophecy. Wow, that's tremendous. And that's why we want to encourage you. We have prophets in the house, company of prophets, people that are ministering the word of the Lord. And you, and listen, you don't know when those words are going to pop. That's why we tell you, if you don't understand this, sit on the shelf. Because it will surely in the end speak, and it will not lie. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. And when you understand the power of prophecy, we want you to share your testimony because there's somebody else out there that needs to hear it so they know how to work through that situation as you got through it. Amen. I'm a little nervous, so... Okay, well, we're going to help you here. <laughs> Just tell them your name and where you're from. Uh, my name is Rodrigo Carrera. I'm from uh, Linden, New Jersey. Okay. I come here, it's about to be a year. Wow. About to be a year. I'm a little excited because, I mean, the first time I sat down, I sat right in the back, and my friend Kareem brought me here, and he said, you got to come to this church. You have to come check it out. And I'm like, well, okay, you know, let's see what this is about. Because <laughs> you never know what you get yourself involved in. I sat down... Just listen, watch. I'm like, how much money? What are you talking about? <laughs> but, but the one thing I do want to say, actually, so many things I want to say. I didn't know where I was going either. I graduated college. I was so confused with a lot of things. I want to do so many things. And you told me one day through Power of Prophecy that I will stand in front of you as a different man. Mm -hmm. And I want to hug you for that. All right. <laughs> Praise but God. I do have a testimony, though. I remember I was um, looking for a car, looking for a vehicle, and I, I, it just wasn't happening. The paperwork wasn't happening. The things weren't happening right. So I was just getting frustrated, and I, and I, and I, stand, I was standing right there, and you said to me, you're going to get a vehicle. Mm -hmm. I never told you about a vehicle. I never mentioned a vehicle at any point. I was like, a vehicle? 
I don't think so. And I don't know. But you know what? You always have to have faith. The next day, I just had a brand new vehicle with the keys in my hand. Whoa. And I want to say <laughs> thank you very much. God bless you. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. You, you, you mean <laughs> the next day? The next day, I had new keys. The jiggling and stuff. But you weren't thinking about a vehicle. Uh, I, I just, I didn't think it was going to happen. It wasn't going through right. And I just had the keys in my hand. I just want to say, God bless you and thank you. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Wow. That is powerful. See, it's, it just happens. It's, it, what, what this prophecy does, it just sneaks up on you. I want to tell you something. Something's about to sneak up on you. Say it me, I feel something sneaking up on me. It's going to sneak up on you. That's the power of prophecy. Amen. Bless you. Good to see you. Thank you. Tell them your name and where you're from. My name is Kareem Ramos. I'm from Woodbridge, New Jersey. And first off, um, I just want to say I don't think I would have been up here at all if it wasn't for the Reverend Run. Uh, he yeah. introduced me. I work for Reverend Run. I do marketing and public relations for Russell Simmons, Reverend Run, and Fat Farm. So I owe my thanks to God for that, uh, first off. Second off, uh, I think today I was supposed to be here because I was on a flight last night coming from L.A. Mm -hmm. And I was playing hangman with my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a five-hour flight, so we're playing Hangman, and the first thing that she wrote on the bottom of Hangman was, uh, I Die Without You. And I Die Without You is one of the songs that uh, PM Dawn did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. uh, you know, it's kind of, you know, I just want to thank you for that, because I'm sitting there, I'm like, you know, we're playing Hangman, and, 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 she, said, uh, and she said, I Die Without You, and I'm like, PM Dawn, and I'm here. Seeing him on stage, I'm like, I gotta, I have to go up. Uh, I man, have to you go, gotta up. go up. <laughs> so, so I, I, I thank you, and God has a funny sense of humor. Um, I've gone through a lot. You've prophesied a lot to me. Um, I've been here for about two years now, going on two and a half years. And just so much has happened to me from, I mean, one of the things that you've prophesied to me, I remember, uh, I mean, I've, I've come from working five jobs, you know. Wow staying in a bedroom, you know, in a, living in a basement, sleeping on a bench. I mean, I slept in my car for a week, you know, hustling to where I'm at now. At 24 years old, I've traveled the world, wow. you know, and one of the things that you prophesied to me was get your visa because you're going to be traveling a lot. And I sat in a meeting with Russell and Rev, and it turns out we're going to England this year. We're going to uh, France, going to Italy. Wow. You know, so and you mean you mean and you didn't and, and you didn't did you have a passport before? Never had a passport in my life. N never I, had a passport. I didn't before think I was getting out of Jersey. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> coming to New York, I was happy. So you mean you never had a passport in your life, and you started traveling to foreign countries? Yes, sir. Where you been? Um, well, I I did go I did go to um, where were we? We went I went to England with with uh, with with Russ. I went to England. Um, and that was the only thing, but then I found out this year we're going more places. Wow. So it's progressing, and um, I mean, you... Now, wait a minute, you, but, but, you probably, but you said you never thought you would probably get out of Jersey. You didn't see no overseas travel, but Not the word all. of prophecy Not came. I mean, I travel with Russell and Reverend Run, but traveling within the United States. Yeah. And when you told me I was going to get a passport, I was like, I don't think we're traveling anywhere out of the United States. And sure enough, they said, hey, do you have your passport? Within two weeks later, they... Russell says, hey, did you get your passport? Not yet. And he's like, well, get your passport, because in 05, we're traveling overseas. Wow. So that's just one of the many. I mean, another thing that made me realize so much about this church and how good it makes a person feel is I have a brother that passed away when I was 17 years old. Mm -hmm. And the one major thing that you always, you know, that I always wondered in the back of my mind was, you know, is he OK? How is he? How's he doing? And I remember when I got my first apartment, which you prophesied to me, I got myself a condo. Um, and I remember laying down on the floor, staring at my TV and looking at the ceiling. And I said, I wonder how he's doing. And that was on a Monday. Now, this was your brother that had to see. She was wondering, how's he doing? Yeah. That was just something you were saying in your mind. And I said it in my mind. I even called my mom and said, Mom, how do we know he's okay? Mm 